dangles as, the, as it goes up and down with the piston, then finally gets caught on something, it just snaps right off. This piston was stuck at the top. So, but good thing the piston, good thing this didn't stay on and damage the uh, valves too much. I'll show you the valves that bent, they're right here. These are the two valves that bent. Look at that. There's one of the intake valves right there. Here's the other one. Yeah, I'm holding it as still as possible so you can see that this has wobble in it. These are bad big time. So this hit the top of the piston and bent. Okay, here's a normal valve. Watch this. This is another a normal valve. Look at that. Look at the difference. Turning it like that. Let's go back to the bad valve. This is the bad valve. This is the good valve. Big difference, huh? Bad valve. It hit the top of the piston. Good valve. Okay, you got the wrist pin, connecting rod, end cap, connecting rod. Bearing, all right there. That goes inside there. Well, it did. See, just like that. That's what you call throwing a rod. This should be straight, by the way. Perfectly straight. This is the connecting rod journal. So, this went on like this. Like that. This connecting rod cap went like that with this bearing in between. And somehow, some way, it just snapped right off. Now that you know that the valve hit the piston, we gotta check to make sure all these valves are seating right on the seats, okay? And the way I do that is with water, water and air. You're gonna force air through the backside of where the intake is mounted and the back side of where the exhaust is mounted, okay? So, what you do is this. Fill this side up with water. You gotta tilt the head a little bit so that you can try to get this level. You put water on it like this. Then you're gonna shoot air through the back. Let's hit this one right here. See, we got that one. Submerged through water. Okay, we got this one here. With the water behind it. I got the tip of this hitting the very back of the valve. Okay, now we know we got bubbles leaking out this side right here. Let me hit it some more. Okay, now let's check this side. Keep in mind, we got it completely underwater, that valve. What I'm doing is I'm going like this, around the bottom side of the valve, and I'm up on it, all right? All the way up on it. This valve is seating good. I don't see any bubbles out of there. So we're all good on that valve right there. This one's leaking, so we gotta grind that one. Okay, next, let's do this one here. Okay, fill it up. Okay, we got them underwater, ready? I'm hitting this one right here. Looks good. I got the nozzle right behind the valve. This is 125 to 130 PSI right here. Coming out of this nozzle here. We're all good right there. Okay, now this one. Make sure the valve is completely under the water, okay? I usually use soap sometimes, but I want to see exactly where the leaks are. All right? Okay, got the nozzle behind it. We're all good. Next one.
Right here, right here. Now let's do this one. Okay, now, these are the valves that hit the piston. These two right here, look at these marks here. Mark there, mark there. Because these are the ones that hit the piston, okay? I only see one mark on the piston, but if you look at that real close, you can see where that hit. And some of the carbon is knocked off in that same area. It looked like it tapped it one time and that was it. And it seems like the connecting rod broke and then um, it, the piston stayed at the top or got pushed to the top, then the valve hit it. Then the piston stayed right there because when I took the engine, when I took this off the engine, before I did, actually, I pushed the piston down with the screwdriver. I should have told you that, but it just went straight down. The piston was at the very top. Okay, so now, let's check these. Let's see if they're sealing all right. Look at that, they're already leaking. Look at that, bad, big time. So I guarantee you we're gonna get bubbles right here. That's a serious leak. You're talking some seriously bent valves right there. Okay, now let's hit this one. Ready? Look at that. Horrible. Bad right there. Let's do the other one. Told you. Bent valves right there. But you get the idea. This was, this test was just to inspect and to find out if we had leakage. Obviously we have leakage here because these two hit the piston. All right? So these are bad. Okay, now what I did is I flipped the head around. These two, these two intake valves were the ones that were leaking really bad. So I flipped it around and leveled the exhaust side, okay? So this is the bad side right here. Let's fill this up. So we got bubbles here, we got leakage there. Check this side, we got leakage there. So now we know we definitely gotta grind these valves there. Okay, let's check these real quick. Okay, let's breeze through this now. This one seems to be good. A little leakage there, see the bubbles? Okay, move on. And that's how you check leaking valves, okay? Just like that. Oh, this is for the youngsters, man. The Bible says, where well, there is no vision, the people perish. What does that mean? If you don't plan your future, your life, man, you're gonna wander. You're gonna wander aimlessly, and you're not gonna know what to do. You're gonna set yourself up for failure, man, if you don't have a vision. So, have a vision, write goals. Don't let anybody intimidate you. Don't let anybody discourage you. Never, man. You don't have to. All right? Anybody trying to kill your dreams? Anybody trying to kill your goals? Don't listen to it, man. Shake them off and keep moving forward, man. Like I always tell you, don't ever give up. Don't make excuses, too. You make excuses, you ain't gonna make it, man. All right? It's that simple. Don't show up late. Don't waste your time on wasting watching too much TV. And definitely don't think negative, man. Don't ever think negative or pessimistic about anything you do. Yes, this goes for the future mechanics too. And in anything you want to do. All right? You just don't have to. I'm not just talking about cars, man. That's with anything you want to achieve in life, okay? And have that passion, man. I mean that unbreakable passion that nobody can take from you, man. God has given you the ability to do that what you want to do, man. The only reason why a person won't exercise that authority that God has given you to do what you want to do is because you self-sabotage yourself. It's because you set yourself up for failure. How do you do that? By thinking pessimistically, man. Don't ever do that, okay? And remember this. With God, all things are possible, man. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, man. Don't you ever forget that. All right? He came down and died on the cross so that you can be free from anything, any drama you're going through, man. The drama won't stop when you come to God, definitely. But you will know how to deal with it more peacefully. God saved me from the streets, man. I used to run the streets, man. I used to be reckless, man. I was a fighter. Yeah. And be passionate about what you want, all right? 
I'm talking about, man, you getting up early in the morning and just wanting something, man. Wanting it so bad, man, that you eat, sleep, and dream about it. That's how bad you should want something, man. Find something you love to do, you'll never have to work a day in your life. That's what this is like for me, man. Of course I work, I work hard, man. But it's nothing to me, man. This is nothing to me. I do this, man, out of passion. I love it. Nobody can give you that passion except for you. You gotta create that. You gotta create the opportunity, man. Even if it comes and you miss it, you gotta recreate it, man. Yes, you can create that. It's up to you how bad you want it, man. So go chase it, go get it. Don't ask for nothing, go take it. Anyway, stay strong out there. Remember, man, God loves you, man. Jesus Christ loves you and he died on the cross for you. Don't ever forget that. Now go smash on it in Jesus' name and don't ever give up.